There's a lot of talk on what the mark of the beast may be, and I explain my ideas in a video called What is the Mark of the Beast? But the fact remains that nobody really knows what it is. Some people worry that we might take it by accident. I've heard a pastor say that we can take it because it requires not only taking the mark, but worshiping the beast and worshiping his image as well, as we see in Revelation 14.9. So if we take the mark but refuse to worship the beast and its image, we're okay. And still, I've heard pastors, and that's plural, unfortunately, say that we can take the mark of the beast and still be saved. So I want to show some things from Scripture that should make this absolutely clear. First, let's read this carefully and realize that this is not three separate things. This is three stages. In Revelation 13, 12, it says, And the beast exercised all the authority of the first beast and caused the earth and those who dwell in it to worship the first beast, whose mortal wound had been healed. So the first requirement before the mark is offered is worshiping the beast. No true Christian is going to do that. We continue in Revelation 13, 14. Because of the signs it was given to perform on behalf of the first beast, it deceived those who dwell on the earth, telling them to make an image to the beast that had been wounded by the sword and yet had lived. So the image of the beast is something that people are actually going to make with their own hands, just like the golden calf in Moses' day. What that is, we can only guess. I could see it being some kind of artificial intelligence robot, or maybe it's just a statue. Who knows? But if we continue to verse 15, we read, The second beast was permitted to give breath to the image of the first beast so that the image could speak and cause all who refused to worship it to be killed. So note, the first step is worshiping the actual beast, and the second step is also worshiping this idol. And if you don't worship the idol, you will be killed. The mark still isn't in play yet. And once again, a Christian is not going to worship an idol they saw other humans make. In verses 16 and 17, it says, And the second beast required all people, great and small, rich and poor, free and slave, to receive a mark on their right hand or on their forehead, so that no one could buy or sell unless he had the mark the name of the beast, or the number of its name. So we can see that all three of these things tie together. There is no way that you can take the mark by mistake because you have to actually worship the beast and its image before the mark is offered. God would not leave a possibility that any of his children might accidentally take it. So it's clearly showing that someone will be doing all of these things and not choosing which ones they will and won't do. And what is the result? Verse 10 and 11 make it clear. He too will drink the wine of God's anger, poured undiluted into the cup of his wrath. And he will be tormented in fire and sulfur in the presence of the holy angels and of the Lamb. And the smoke of their torment rises forever and ever. Day and night there is no rest for those who worship the beast and its image or for anyone who receives the mark of its name. You are lost forever if you take this mark. Don't do it. And if you are listening to any pastor that has said we can take the mark and still be saved, stop listening to them right now. I don't care how much good teaching they have, they are just as dangerous as the New Apostolic Reformation. This is serious. This is a short video, and if you have to watch it again to let this really sink in, please do. But remember that taking the mark is accompanied by worshiping the beast and his image, and that there's no way God will let his children make that decision by mistake. Let us use this time to spread the good news of what Jesus did on the cross and explain to people about the time when this mark will be available. And maybe you're someone who's watching this today and isn't a Christian yet. You don't believe all that stuff. But when you see these things happen, please remember this video and that God loved you enough to warn you ahead of time. Cry out to God on that day. Refuse the beast and his mark and put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved.